I live far from my family and I, I love them so much. So I wish I could fly over there. I could be like, yeah, well, let's hang out. You know? <laughs> yes, yeah, Zoom. everybody. Thank you for joining us on another episode of What to Watch. I'm Savannah Jones. And I'm Rex Ravita. Today we have Sasha Kaye joining us. Hi. Who plays the new, who plays Supergirl in the newest installment of the DC Universe, The Flash. So thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Yes. So how did you feel when you found out that you were cast as Supergirl? Um, I felt all of it. Um, but I would say the best way to describe it is that I just gave myself a hug for ultimately believing in myself um, and not allowing anyone to tell me, you know, that I couldn't do something. Uh, it was just a, you know, I was working like four or five jobs around that time. Well, actually I was on a soap opera, so no, but prior to the soap, I was working like four to five jobs and um, that's like, a, it was my dream role. You know, it's it's like, there's no way to nerd out, you know, yeah. it's, it's really special and, and really cool. So how does it feel being the first Latina Supergirl? It's an honor. Um, it's it's an honor and a blessing. Um, you know, I've had uh, a woman of color pave the way for me um, and I, I couldn't be here without them. And um, it's a very emotional uh, journey. And I'm just so proud to be a little step forward in the right direction because we do deserve to be in the big screens uh, globally and around the world telling stories that are powerful and uh, nuanced. Yeah. So your character, Supergirl, she is a superhero. She can fly, she has laser vision, everything. So did you have to go in, undergo any like physical training or like how was the stunts? How was that process? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I, I Doing all my stunts was my dream. Um, I've been wanting to do that for a very, very long time. I started boxing three years before I booked the movie. I just had like a vision. I was like, I want to fight on camera and I want to do all the stuff. And I had a really incredible stunt team. Eunice, who was our stunt coordinator, which is like a really amazing thing to have a woman lead um, a stunt team. And I had uh, Mikey, who was my fight coach. He kind of choreographed, choreographed all the fights. And Tilly LeCraig, who was my right hand woman all the time. Um, it was just an incredible experience. I, They were my safe haven, really. And I, I you know, I knew I was gonna love it, but it was, it was, it was just like, yeah, it's, there was just like adrenaline rush. Um, it was a really, really fun thing. And laser eyes is to the imagination. No concept of anything. You're like, how is this gonna look? Yeah. You're like, how do I do it? You just kinda, you know, I, I don't think I've talked about that, about how awkward it is with the laser eyes, yeah. you know, but you just have fun with it and, and hope that it turns out really cool, you know, yeah. So um, your character interacts with other beloved DC characters. So without any spoilers, is there any specific interaction or scene with other characters that you're excited for people to see? I loved working with Michael Shannon. Um, having that world collide for Man of Steel is really, really cool. Um, I loved that movie. I, I think Michael Shannon is incredible. He's an excellent Zod. Um, he was always, did you guys watch the film? Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> in those scenes where we kind of connect, yes. um, you know, he, when he was off camera, he was giving me his full Zod, you know, in that, what did you do mm. moment? Um, he was there behind, like really giving me all that intensity. And, and I, I really loved and appreciated that and have a lot of respect for him. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like in the film, it was a lot of different messages that you know you can take and translate that into your real life. Mm -hmm. So what message or impact do you hope that people take from the movie and of your portrayal of Supergirl? I mean, I say in life, feel it all, right? And this movie is um, that. I think you can feel everything. Um, joy, grief, um, love, uh, fear, anger. It's a kind of a... Uh, worlds collide of feelings as well. So it's a really beautiful journey. And, you know, I think with any Kryptonian, it's it's a lot of hope and, and love and the possibility that anyone can accomplish anything that they dream of. Um, yeah. 
So how was it? I know you mentioned before working on a soap opera like The Young and Restless. So yeah. how is how do you approach that differently in such a huge movie versus a role like this? You know, like I that? think any single job, um, even your job, and they're all like it's hard to you know. Congrats on yeah. being here. It's it's <laughs> like you know when you have dreams, it's a uh, you have to really fight to get them, no matter what career it is. Um, so, you know, the soap is very challenging in its own way. I had to learn 45 pages a night. Yeah. Um, and you, it's really one take wonders. It's kind of, I would say, like live theater with cameras, with uh, multiple cameras. Um, but, you know, it was a different beast. And I, when I booked Supergirl, I, I, it was written in the stars for me. I walked in with an open heart and really genuinely excited to learn and soak everything up and, and give my heart and soul into it. All right, so that was our last question for you, but we do like to end out our interviews with just a little speed round. So we're gonna ask you a few okay. fun questions. Okay, hit me with it, hit me with it. <laughs> All right, so is there a portrayal of Supergirl that you drew inspiration from? No. Okay. Um, well, it's hard. I'm. Uh, I know this is super sp speed, but it's hard yeah. because I know so much. Yeah. I knew so much about her prior, but Andy, the director, v was very stern about me not researching a lot. Mm -hmm. But I knew a lot already. Yes. Um, so I think naturally, um, as a Kryptonian and, and watching this, the Supergirl uh, film and uh, with Helen Slater and then. Uh, Melissa's CW Supergirl. It's impossible. Like they're iconic. It's impossible not to kind of, you know. Um, but no, he he didn't want me to. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, you definitely made it your own. Yeah. Cool. For sure. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> so if you could be any character in the DC universe other than Supergirl, who would it be and why? Ah, no, Supergirl. <laughs> I ultimately like honestly, it was I couldn't. The universe knew before I did, mm. but I couldn't. I couldn't see myself playing any other role. Um, but I, I highly admire Wonder Woman and I love Gal Gadot so much yes. and she is uh, uh, an inspiration to me. Yeah, so last question. Yeah. So of course, Supergirl has a ton of powers. If you could have just one of her powers in real life, which one would it be? Flying. <laughs> off the bat. Yes, like off flying. the bat. I live far from my family and I, I love them so much. So I wish I could fly over there. Right. I could be like, yeah, well, let's hang out. You know, right. <laughs> right there in a second. Zoom right there. Yes, zoom. I love it. Yes. Yeah.